Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. This video will explain the use of a useful function called concatenate. The word concatenate simply means join together, and in Excel it means join text strings together. So what I see here is some data, the first name, the last name and the city have been typed into individual cells in each case. What we want to do is to get the full name and the city into this cell. So the goal is to finish with Mary Brown, comma, New York in cell F9 and then autofill the result down for Tom and Harry. And this is how we go about it. And by the way, I'll also explain an alternative uh, using the ampersand symbol. But at this stage, let's use concatenate. So I type equal concatenate, followed by an opening bracket. And then Excel tries to help me by saying, where's the first lot of text? The first lot of text is in that cell, so I can click on it and use a comma. Now, the next item, I want to put a space, and I do that by using my double quote and the space, followed by another double quote, followed by a comma. So the arguments involved are all separated by commas. The most common uh, error made is that people forget to put that comma in. Now what we can do is to add brown. So we click on D9, followed by a comma. Now we want a... Uh, a comma in the text. So I open my uh, double quote, type a comma and a space, close the double quote and a comma to separate the argument and finally I click on New York. I close the bracket and press the enter and there we are, Mary Brown, New York. Now what I can do is to go back to that cell and simply autofill it down to copy the formula down. So uh, I've only got to do it once. The um, number of entries that you can use uh, is virtually limitless. Um, uh, you can have many, many entries in the first, last name and city if you wish. Now, there is an alternative using the ampersand. Some people like to use this. I find the concatenate function easier for the following reason. If I look at the using the ampersand, I'm going to read it as I typed it. First of all, equal C9, which is Mary, followed by a space and an ampersand and another space, and then two double quotes to give me a space, followed by another ampersand to say add D9, followed by a space, and then add a comma, that is between the double quotes with the comma, and finally add E9. So we can think of the ampersand as perhaps uh, the word add. So that's the alternative. So it's really quite simple uh, when you use a concatenate function, the one I prefer, but as I said, some people like to use the ampersand symbols. I just find uh, remembering spaces and double quotes etc are uh, just a little more tricky. Incidentally, unless you have the spaces in the right spot, you cannot copy the formula down. You will not be allowed to do that. But in this case, um, because we've got the uh, uh, spaces in the right spots, and the ampersands in the right spaces, right places, we can copy that formula down. So there we go. I hope that's useful for you. Uh, you'd be surprised how often you want to join text together. Um, th there are uh, many uses for it. So I hope you've uh, learnt something from this particular video. Don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. Uh, comment if needs be and likes are always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.